Hey guys, welcome to my um, Starfield playthrough, which is not technically my first playthrough because I kept uh, I kept playing with the game, not really doing much of the story. I just cheated a lot of money in and created ships and created bases, but that's it. Have a, I, I'm not sure I'm even in like one fourth of the story, so. Uh, I have no mods, and yeah, I kind of want to share with you guys the experience of Starfield. I mean, because so far with my first playthrough, which you can see, I have a continue button here. Um, it It's kind of boring at first, but you, you kind of get going maybe 10 hours above in. So, and it's kind of good for the channel, too, to have another game in it, you know? So, um, but before I start, let's go to settings, and I just want to show you my audio settings. I put the master volume lower and some of them lower, because, yeah, I don't want my voice fighting with any of this. And this is kind of a story-based game. So, it's not like XCOM that I can just ignore everything, you know? So... Yep, let's start a new game. I've, I've played like, I think, 20 hours, but it's mostly just building bases. And just like my XCOM playthroughs, I'm not gonna cut this in any way. I mean, I could. But I just choose not to, so... Yeah. Maybe someday I will. I bet a lot of you have seen this part already. So I, I guess I'm just, I'm just gonna rush through this mine part, mining part. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A uh, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Let me know if the volume is too low or too high. You can change that. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? <laughs> Ugh. Look at this one over here. 
Help us! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Okay. To be honest, from what I've seen, this is the best graphical area I've seen. <laughs> in the entire game, in my 20-hour um, playthrough. It's just so detailed. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Hold to equip. Flashlight is... Hold F. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? And by the way... No, I hear this yeah, unlike there. in Cyberpunk, you cannot see your character's um, legs or feet but it has something better I'm busy. third person which you can't do right Everyone now because you haven't really created your character kinda wish cyberpunk had third person but hey what are you gonna do so when I right click here it's actually faster to mine there, see, without right click, it takes that long. You got a few more digs to when you hold right click, it digging. charges up. It's faster. They're ready, boss. Get back up here. And yeah, that's. Man, I wish everybody's job were that easy, huh? Go with me. Okay, now here's the part where. You know, you can't really walk. But when you press caps lock on PC, I don't have an Xbox, so I don't know Xbox controls. Yeah, caps lock is the walk or jog toggle. It's kind of annoying that you, you, the NPCs walk faster or slower than you. Some FPS drop yeah, off right there. That. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. Hey, yeah, let's go close. jog a bit. I think yeah, everything is just all in seriously. Uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. Uh, why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you. Yeah, I'll just go up there. I know. Whoa. I guess that's a good There's thing. no gamma Let's setting here. It's quite dark. I'm not sure if it's darker on the recording or in my view. Well, look at that. Break the deposits up. And take it. Print for a fairy wheel. Hey, come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. 
Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Okay, now we can create our character. So if I remember correctly, yeah. Even numbers are... Female and male are the odd numbers. Well, you can change that in the body section. So... I think I'm going to use this. Yeah, I'm going to use this. I'll try to make it look as close to myself as possible. I'm quite skinny, but I do work out. So, but I am in no way a gym rat, at least not anymore. Yeah, maybe here. There, see, you can switch between the uh, sexes. Walk style one, skin tone. I'm good with the skin tone. I'm actually holding my hand up to see if I got the skin tone right. <laughs> okay, now to remove all this beard, because I don't have beard. And I don't have a mustache as well. Head shape. I don't know what my damn head, head shape is. It's definitely not square. Yeah, maybe like this. Hair. I, I, I like my hair short with some wax on it. Definitely not bald. What's wrong here? Can't I zoom out a bit, game? Come on. Nope, not my hair. There's very few hair customization here. Because the, the uh, female and male hair are the same. I mean, look, as you go here, there, see? They have the same thing in Baldur's Gate, I think. Well, this looks more me. Okay. Hair color, yes, I have black hair color. I do not have much facial hair, but I do get some some of this shadow sometimes. Okay, I think my head needs a little more work. It's definitely wider. And my eyes Oh, nope. I got those gamer eyes. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll go for some gamer eyes a bit here, maybe. And we are going to split it a bit. Wait, that, that, that eye is too small. I think this looks better. You can morph it into a way different looking person, but it's kind of hard to do that. There are no presets that... I mean, all the presets look the same to me. Okay. Now, eye color, I definitely have dark brown. Is that the darkest brown you have? Looks like it is. Eyebrows. Definitely don't trim my eyebrows. It's definitely not Lily Collins type of eyebrows. I think this looks decent. Is this black? 
Yeah, looks like it. Eyebrow color, also black. Who the hell has the <laughs> purple beard, huh? Forehead, I I think I just have to narrow it down a bit. Just a bit. And I definitely don't have these um what do you call that? Giga Chad jawlines. At least not yet. I'm getting there. I'm trying to work out again. Nose. I don't have a sharp nose. It's definitely not flat. No, nope, that's too small. I have a big nose. Let's just adjust it from here. I don't understand this shape much. I don't understand what it does. I guess that's fine. Okay, I'm I'm not going to be taking any longer here. Okay, my cheeks are a bit puffy right now cuz I gained some weight. My dad's a dentist, so I'm getting the cleanest teeth I can get. God help me if I had yellow teeth. Probably kill me. Okay. Where's a less Giga Chad jawline? And everything is Giga Chad here. My mouth. Nope. It's kind of thick, but not that thick. And we can bring it a bit down. Yeah, that, that looks better. I don't have any tattoos or scars. Okay, that's fine. Background. Looking good. You know, I kind of want at uh, probably File Not Found or Bounty Hunter simply because of the skills, not really the RPG or type of argument. Because it doesn't really affect you that much from what I've seen. Just a few more dialogue but it's not that relevant. Boost pack training would be good, but I do want to build my spaceship early, so that's why I want piloting. Yeah, I think I'll get... What's wellness again? I guess I'll take this. Yep, file not found. I was cancelled by cancel culture, that's why they can't find anything on me. <laughs> okay, traits. Wanted is good if you want to keep killing people or destroying spaceships. Okay, Dream Home, I won't take that unless I'm on a cheating playthrough. I guess I'll take Hero Worship because it gives you an extra companion. Who will never question your methods, by the way. Hero Worship wanted. And... I don't know, United Colonies Native, maybe? Alien DNA is also good.
I guess I'll take... I don't know. Well, we, we plan on making this not... It's not gonna be an evil playthrough, but of course we're gonna do some evil stuff. I mean, who doesn't in these types of games? So I guess I'll go United Colonies native. To, it's the safe bet, because alien DNA... Yeah, healing and food items are not as effective. I don't know if I really want that. I would love the extra health, though. And the extra oxygen. Because you do run around a lot on this game. It has no vehicles. Yeah, well, what the hell. Let's go alien DNA. I might regret that. Okay, are we done? I think that's it. Okay, my name is... I checked the names that... Vasco the robot can say and Morpheus is one of them. I like the name Morpheus. I think it's some ancient religion's uh, god. God of dreams, I think. Okay, confirm that, and well, here you we got are. The sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Yeah, it was Easy some there, dream with music. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. And there's third person. But at first person, you still can't see his feet. <laughs> Our constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists. You know, the first time I played there. this, Same with I kept running like this. Yeah, come on. Playing with this thing. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got Can complicated enough? we loot enough? something here? Not to them, apparently. Whoa, you don't look good. 195? Is that high? I'm not so sure if that's high. But yeah, I'll take anything I can. That is not right, dusty. Airlock. Put your stealing. Helmet what? Press tab. Inventory. Helmets. Equip. Because she's gonna walk. Another FPS drop there. Now this is the frontier. You all probably know that this is your starter ship. Looks good. But we'll make it better over time. Been a long time. 
<laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal and no Barrett, not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. Okay, I just thought... That's why I like you, Lynn. Just now? All business. Spirit. I'll try to narrate the, the dialogue. I'm reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? Okay, these are some enemies. Okay. I like combat on first person, by the way. Oh, reload. Okay, there are some bullet physics here. Okay, loot them all. Oh, there's still one remaining. V is melee. Yep. Okay, let's get all loot. But this is not really advisable for the entire game, because the carry weight capacity here is so bad. Well, not bad, it's just so low. Oh, got some miners killed here. I didn't shoot him. Can't believe the Crimson Fleet hit us. Any more loot? Are you, you alive? Be alive. Ran straight at those pirates like it was nothing. I think we've looted this guy. Yeah. Of course, Barrett was being followed. Every now time. that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions. You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Well, they can tell me what this artifact, what, what this artifact of yours is, I'm in, yeah. Marvelous. Oh no, Barrett, no. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lin. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Yeah, thanks for everything, Lin. I mean, I just started today, but whatever. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well... Like no, what? That's what did I do? Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Well, if you bought the um, collector's edition of the game, you get that in real hey. life. Fits you perfectly. 
Now, questions? Yeah, let's just that, for purposes friend, of roleplay. What did we get? Constellation can find the answer with your help. But why are you sending me? Come on, you really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Okay. But I was alone when I touched it. So. Technically, it's not you're even giving mine. me my ship. Consider it alone. Bosco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Okay, what is Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. And why was the Crimson Fleet after you? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Oh, well, you know, that's what we're gonna be. Hey, Bosco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> okay. Now, here is our starter ship. Hold it. Day. I'm getting all this. Anything else? Captain Morpheus. There, see, mention the name. Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. Where are you, though? Did he stay below? Now we'll take that later. And we have a bunch of... Yeah, every cockpit has a cargo hold. Uh, you can access the cargo hold. Or you can also access it through tab right here but right now it's not letting me yet because I haven't really bonded with the ship shields ready the rest is up to you add some well detailed computers and take off Yep, it doesn't have seamless planet landing and atmospheric atmospheric flight. Okay, but honestly, it'll take a longer time playing this game if it did. If you think about it, I would love that now feature, that we are but in orbit, fast travel is okay to too. Test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Yep. Okay, I know this. Because I did play around with ships. So you're gonna hold Alt and WASD to control these things on the lower left. Yeah, it kind of on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and okay. decreasing our relative velocity. A 
ship's engine as a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw the middle is the sweet the spot. You'll you can see here on... in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and yeah, down he said as it. you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. It, it is. Boost can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage without a hull of be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Okay. an adequate pilot are you familiar with ship combat tactics because that's yep. the crimson fleet ship okay, it's a fight and keep it on mid speed to disable their shields laser based weaponry is particularly effective And we can loot these ships. Congratulations on surviving there we your go. first starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Already did that, Vasco. I already did that. Is it gonna be bugged because I did it too early? Yeah, I did it. Okay, it's bugged, I guess. But it should fix itself. Two more there we go. Ships are jumping into our location, Captain. Okay. Did my missile hit? Got it. Oh. We still have shields. Now we're gonna As loot them. Far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships That's are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon above Crete. A perfect staging area for pirates. Okay, so going to the map. Hold it, let, let's. Oh, can't scan it anymore. We're going to Crete. Set course. Travel. I haven't tried flying directly. I think it'll take too long. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Okay. Okay, we are gonna scan this planet. There, you can see the resources it has. First, we gotta do this thing. 
can't really build out outposts just yet. We're gonna need some resources to do that. But I'm gonna play this naturally. I'm not gonna do exploits. I mean, there's a leveling exploit with outposts. A lot of them, actually. Okay, before we get up, I mean, before we leave the ship, I will store some of the cargo. So, I mean, st some of the stuff that we have. Especially the spacesuits, unless they are better than what I'm wearing. Not that much better. Okay. I think these stack, stack with your suit, so... You also gotta keep these in mind. We don't have that, that much ammo. Okay, we got some resources. Let's store this in the ship. Aid is favorited by default. Zero on PC. Now we have some weapons here. I think I would want to have this... Yeah, I'm gonna use this favorite. Oh wait, we gotta leave this first. I have two Maelstrom, we have to store one of them because we're gonna pick up a lot of things. Okay. Now let's go to the inventory without the cargo. I'm gonna favorite the pistol. As one, I'm gonna favorite... Maybe the modified Maelstrom. Yeah, this is slightly better than the regular Maelstrom. On two, and Rescue Axe on three. So, yeah, some hotkeys. And transfer the rest of the weapons. Oh, wait. Transfer the regular one and the rip shank. Do we really need this now? I guess not yet. Yeah, let's store these. Because we're going to need all the carrying capacity we can have. Yeah, we're going to sell those. So let's keep it in. Let's go. By the way, you can toggle your spacesuit. Yeah. Hide spacesuit in settlements. Let's do that. And also the helmet. Hide helmet in breathable areas. Yep. But the spacesuits will still show up on your ship. Only on settlements they will disappear. Okay. Put up the scanner. Yeah, just scan some of these things. Mine them, possibly. When they're green, that means you've scanned that thing. Has a very short range. Wait, haven't I scanned this thing already? Why is it still blue? Weird. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility. Okay, we can scan the wildlife, right? You can, but you can actually scan them by killing them. But do we want to do that? I just want to see what resources it has, so I'll take one out. Nutrient. I don't know if that's that important. Okay, let's keep scanning. Silver? 
Yeah, let's mine that too. And be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. We can't. Whoa. We can't scan it. Do we take it out? Well, for the XP, yeah. I'm sorry, creature. We need the XP. Okay. I didn't have alien DNA on my first character, and now I'm noticing its effects. It's so good. It's way higher than the the HP. I'm not so sure, but I've noticed that the um, I've noticed that the oxygen you have is way higher. I uh, ran out of energy on that. Go. Okay. Okay. When you go to your scan, by the way, you can see the gravity on the lower left, the temperature, and the level of oxygen this planet has. The Crimson Fleet is a confederation of smaller... Okay, let's keep scanning these things. And getting resources. We can also sell the resources if we don't need them. Uh, let me tell you now, when I build ships... Because this is not like Fallout 4, that when you activate God Mode... Your, um, your resources for settlement building are unlimited. At least that's my experience with Fallout 4. I'm not sure if that was a mod or anything. But here... Yeah, God Mode doesn't make a difference in settlement building, or I mean outpost bu building and ship building. Or research, or... Yeah, crafting. So you will need these resources at some point if you want to max out your character but I'm telling you now that will take a while a very long while what does that do this I think that's the door yeah med pack get it 240 but that's very big mass for such a small thing. Yeah, let's just go inside. Loading screen, yep. But they're quite fast. I have mine installed on a Samsung Curious. SSD. Not an M.2, just the 870-something. It stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Yep, I'm a looter. I'll try to move the camera slower so you viewers don't get dizzy. A bit slower. Digipix. Definitely need those. Okay, let's go. Always check these lockers. Sometimes they have something for crafting. Like this. Med pack. That's I think that's some sort of food. Okay. Got 
Okay, enough with the looting, I guess. Oh, whoops. Okay, there are enemies now. I still want to check some loot. Can easily miss some of these. Beer. There is a pirate over there. And they will notice you if you're not aiming, because when you aim, you're actually walking slower. So, here it is. Got him. Where's the... Uh, I think there's another one. Okay. Hi there, where are you? I am aiming for your center of mass. Oh, I think I hit all my shots. That was 9 out of 9. A good start, right? And yeah, we're gonna loot all this to sell them. And I kind of want to check what weapons they have. Maybe they have something better than what I'm using. Okay. Yeah, you don't want you do not want to press this if you're trying to get the most credits in the early game. Water. Okay. All right, there's there's more pirates here, I I think if I remember correctly. I really just spent most of my time building ships in the first playthrough. Built about three bases as, as well, but yeah, I only ended up with one base because you don't really need more than one base in the early game. Sparkling water. Ooh. Okay, now this, I find that I found this really hard at first, but what I noticed is you should set them up as you go. Like here. So they, these two don't fit, but these might. Okay. Oh, okay, I get it now. Oh, wait, it's not. Come on. There's five. I'm not that good with this. Okay, I see it now. It's these two. And just to make sure that it works th that you're doing the right thing. Point this, the remaining two, on the inner. It doesn't quite let you do it easily. I think this is it. There, see? Didn't waste any digipics. This one is for the inner one, the one kind of grayed out. And these two fit together. So let's do that. Start, start. And this is already set up. Start, start. There, see? Yeah, it's better to check everything before you insert it. So if you insert it and you, you use the wrong part, you will lose a digipick. Okay, these are meals. Okay. 
Okay, now where were we? Oh, med pack. Definitely need that. Check the lockers. Another meal pack. Okay, go back. Outside, crouching, but I want to check this room too. Just a quick check. Flashlight, lockers. Food again. I'm only looking... Oh. I'm only looking for the ones that we can use, actually, not the ones we can sell, because... Yeah, like crafting components, I'm gonna get those. Healing stuff and food, I'm gonna get those as well. Bullets don't have carry weight here. This is an Eon. Yeah, weapons you can sell. They are among the most expensive ones in the game, so... Hey, I think I... That's food over there. Can't get it. There, we got one. Okay, that looks good. Let's go. I try to roleplay the flashlight thing. Like, if you're sneaking and your flashlight is on... <laughs> That's sad, right? Grenades. Let's put that on a hotkey. Or do we automatically throw something if we press G? I guess we'll find out. Well, nothing's happening. I'm pressing G, bro. Do I have to equip it? Oh, you have to equip it. Okay. Equip. Throw it. Bang. And there's two more guys. Get everything. Ooh! Legendary spacesuit? This early, huh? That did not happen in my first playthrough. Hazmat suit. Nice. Okay, wait, that looked like a component. Okay, it's not. Oh, they saw me, damn it. Okay, let's hide behind the locker. They are upstairs. And there's more of them. What? Oh! We have a skill point. I want to use it now. Because... Well, we can't really use it now. But what do I want? I think boost pack training. Yeah, you need to utilize this early. Some people like to save up the points, but uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea all the time. It is a good idea sometimes. Of enemy has Begin search protocol. Okay, one more guy. Where are you? What? That's supposed to be a hit. Why are you running, bro? What? That was weird. I mean, you saw it. Was supposed to be a hit, but wasn't. Get everything. Everything we can. From the... From the uh, enemies, at least. Did I miss one enemy? I think I did. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Check all the loot. Yeah, we're good. I think we're good. Look at the oxygen I have. That is good. Alien DNA. Glad I chose that perk. That trait, I mean. No 
another hazmat suit. I think that that's a good thing to have. I like that. And it's kind of expensive for for its weight. That's why I'm taking it. Okay, I know there are enemies here. What? You going to get your and they saw me before I saw them, damn it. Why am I not hitting him? Okay. Let's wait for Vasco to take them out. Hey! Do something! I do not feel pain. Okay, let's go up now. Where is he? What? <laughs> oh, Bethesda, look at this. He's just stuck there. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Oh, you died. Sorry. I am not sure why. Okay, we're next. Now, how do we go there to that objective? Here, I guess. I have it looted downstairs, but how's our carry capacity? Oh, we're almost at the limit. Okay, then. Not gonna loot anymore. We can give Vasco something, I believe. Captain Morpheus, Protocol Indigo. Oh MI yes, we can. I'm giving him all the stuff. Item you require. Uh, my inventory and give him, give him all the Grandos, Kraken, all the Maelstrom, modified Grendel, and spacesuits. What does this do? My... Okay, Beast Hunter. Plus 40 carry capacity. Oh, I'm I'm wearing you right now. But hold it. I'm gonna give Vasco some of these things first. Yeah, give it to him. Give it to him. Apparel. Yep. And all the resources. Nah, maybe we have enough space now. We don't need to give him everything. Okay, let's loot downstairs quickly. Oh, damn it. That was wrong. I meant to press F for flashlight. <laughs> I threw a grenade. I wasted a grenade. I've seen other YouTubers do that, by the way. It's, yeah. Should I change the grenade button to H or something? See, look at this. Toxin, a crafting component. Wow, this is quite expensive for something that useless. I mean, useless to us. Okay. Good with this room. What about the other places here? Oh, we've, we've been here. We haven't entered this one, have we? I think we have. What about this place? Yeah, I'm trying to rush it now so we can go to other places. Sealant! There we go. We can just buy resources, but we don't have that much credits. Two. Some healing stuff. Another toxin. Food. Fine, let's go, let's go. Man, you guys should try alien DNA. It's so good. Oxygen-wise. 
Digi picks, perfect. Deep mining space, uh, yeah, I'll take that. And another puzzly puzzle. Okay, I'm gonna do the same I did. Yeah, this looks like for the second part. Or is it? Yeah, it's for the second part. So I'll leave it there. So there's three more. Wait a minute. Okay, let's leave this one here. Two more here, this and this for the inner part. I think that's it for the inner part. Yep, so this remains, but this goes here. There, see? These two are for the outer, just double checking. Yep, start, 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 boom. Okay. That's good. It, they get really harder at well, those master locks damn I'm detecting a safe nearby we could make use of whatever is inside provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights oh 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 oh, oh whoa whoa i don't want to waste ammo on that thing hey where's his body where's the body has a lot of digi picks. Where's the body? Oh, there it is. Nutrient. Digi pick, some food. And this. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> okay, that's it. Any more loot? Nothing. Okay, let's open this. Another thing to do. Whoa. Okay, so there's five on each. Alright. This feels correct over here. And I bet this is the other one. Now, to the inner. This is probably it. And that. That looks right. Right? Yep. Yep. What's this? A book. Whoa. What just happened there? Deal with the Crimson Fleet Captain. Okay, did we get any... Yeah, I might need an assault weapon for this next part. Okay. Let's... Wait, we're not outside yet. Med pack. Ooh. Wait a minute. I forgot to wear my new legendary spacesuit. And we have a blue... Space helmet. We're gonna use that. Will probably look like crap. Actually, we have two. Oh yeah, this really doesn't do much, does it? 15, minus 15% 15 damage. I'd rather have the oxygen. So I'm very OP when it comes to oxygen now. Alright. I think we're ready. Are, aren't we? <laughs> 
Okay, let's go. I'm not even gonna talk to this. Okay. Me. The frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Okay, I I don't, I don't know if I want to fight them. I don't know if I can beat them. Can we save here? No. Do we lie? I kind of want their loot. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons. Right, but thank the you. The only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Okay, I'm attacking you. I want your loot. I bet you have something I would love to have. I'll take out your friends first. Got him, I think. Shot that container. There's the other guy. I need the assault weapon for this. I think this is fully automatic. Bang! See, one magazine is all it took. Ah, this one's mine. Yep, get all that crap. Oh, he's still alive. The other guy. This thing is good. And there's some more enemies here. You know, I tried boarding this ship at first. In my first playthrough, it doesn't let me. In combat, there is a high likelihood of human death. Okay, will we jump over there? I think I'll jump. Rather than waste bullets. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That... Okay, didn't hurt me. Because of the gravity. There we go. Load him quickly. Reload. I wanted the pistol kill. Okay, I think there's some more bodies here. Yeah, here's one. Okay, reload all the weapons. And we can fast travel to the ship. Oh, really? We can fast travel. Oh, I didn't use that. I just always opened Captain the map Morpheus. before. To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Can't wait to make this ship prettier. It looks fine now. But we need to make it a bit bigger for more hull. Okay, we're in space. Now we are going to need to put some 
power on the grab drive to go to Jemison. And can we actually press it through here? I haven't tried this as well. Oh, okay. I never tried that before. Like I said, I always press the map button and just click there. Okay. I don't think I have contraband. Yep, it says no contraband. I'm gonna use this a lot more. Okay, let's scan the planet. Oh wait, I shouldn't have done that. I should have gotten the scanning thing skill first so we can level that up as we scan planets. Okay, let's go to New Atlantis. Let's land. I'm not gonna customize the ship first. I wanna save a few credits first. I think that's where I'll start the next episode. Customizing the ship a little bit. Okay, so let's get up first and... Oh wait! I think we can access the ship's inventory if we want to sell from there. So I don't really need to pick these up. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, what's happening? Let's just go down. Get ready for some major FPS drops. And now I'm wearing some weird... Like I'm a science experiment thing. And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Okay. The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit. Okay, good to know. I would try the viewport. It'll be on your left. Once oh you yeah, the, the viewport plaza. is like... Some sort of coffee Everything shop. Looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. You can hire people that can be on your ship if you don't like your companions. Here's the trade authority. Let's sell some stuff. Okay, I'm gonna sell all the Grendel, all the Maelstrom. Wow, this Maelstrom is better, but it's not full auto, which is kind of better. More damage per bullet. Yeah, sure, maybe I'll keep that. Resources. Nope, I'm keeping that in the ship. Trucker pack. I'll be using that. Let's sell these ugly helmets. Well, they're not that ugly. It's just ugly com um, when you combine it with what we're wearing. Yeah, I no longer need this deep space mining thing. Now, let's sell from the ship. Yeah, we already have a cutter on us. I'm keeping the clothes, just for roleplay purposes. Sometimes I'll change my clothes, depending on the planet. Yeah, looks good. Let's go. I can assure you, this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility... Okay. Check out the FPS drops. I am, yeah. Out in front of my Steam FPS tracker is small on the upper right. Whatever it 
because it can't be that bad. I'm at 1080p and it's getting 75 right now on a 4070Ti. <laughs> Wonder how bad it'll look on 4K or 1440. I don't have a, a better monitor. Anyway, do I want to check out viewport first? Maybe not. Let's just go with the objective first. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. Free transportation. You can take it directly to the Mast District. Wish my country had that. I'm from the Philippines, by the way. We don't get free transpo. I'm so excited to see Tony after work. Okay. 67 FPS now. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Just one quiet day. Okay, I'm, I will do some side quests. But only the bigger ones. Not the boring small ones that are just fetch this and fetch that, kill this, kill that. Maybe the bounty would be great for, you know, farming weapons we and legendary gear. A United Colonies City. Oh, speaking but... of, I think I want to get... It's on very easy. I want to get it on very hard, maybe? Because it... Yeah, you'll get to encounter more legendary enemies. Therefore, the legendary gear is better. Is an entirely neutral entity. It but has it takes more bullets to take out a single enemy. Or maybe, yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah. Maybe not very hard just yet. Just on normal for now. I'm not gonna do that exploit, by the way. Let's do it on normal as we scale up. Here we are. Probably in level 20, I'll go on very hard. If you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you, I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Okay, then let's go. Captain Morpheus, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Okay, Would let's. You I'll stay quiet for a bit. To our friend, why you're here and he isn't. Yeah, pirates attack. Barrett asks, asks me to see. deliver the artifact. Bosco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Don't trust me, woman, huh? Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Mateo. Should have gone to now, Neon first. Let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Yeah, it was basically bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect okay. to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. 
just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that- Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> Give me so, some money. Are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Yeah, I, I'm in. You should of take course, you gave me a ship. In. Introduce yourself. Who could to say everyone. no? Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Oh, yes, please. Just mind your head. Hey, yeah, gave me a pack. Okay. Let's um, wear that pack. Oh, wait. Basic boost pack. Ooh, but the stats on this one are way better. Alien enemies, yeah, the wildlife. So far, I've only encountered humans. And a few wildlife, so I don't really need that bonus. So I'll, I'll take the constellation pack. These helmets, and I'm good with what I'm wearing. Spacesuit, definitely I want this legendary one. 40 carry capacity, man. Come on. Can't say no to that. I don't even care if I look like crap walking around in this. Okay. We lost all our grenades because one of them was a mistake. Okay, I think I'll end the episode here. I don't know how long I've been playing. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try to keep it below two hours. Because I also want to keep uploading XCOM. I will never end XCOM. So yeah, in the next episode, I think I'm going to start talking to these guys. Because, yeah, who knows what you can miss if you don't talk to them. And I know... Yeah, Starfield YouTube right now is quite saturated. There's a lot of people uploading. But yeah, I, I, I kind of want to put my two cents on the game when I finish this. Because there's a lot of people praising it, and at the same time, a lot of people shitting on it. The game, I mean. So, I want to see where I will be when I end the campaign. I'm also gonna do some side stuff. I do like creating bases and pretty spaceships. So, you gotta factor that in. There's no- I don't think there's another game that has both of those. Correct me if I'm wrong, I never played those... Um, no Man's Sky, uh, yeah, Star Citizen, I never played them, I just watch videos of them. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's a game that has uh, uh, outpost building, ship customization to this level, and at the same time, a story. Yeah, I'm not defending the game just yet. I want to see if the story is as bad as they say, or... At your service, yeah. Captain. I'll have my opinion on the end of this playthrough. 
which will take a while, probably 20 hours, so 20 or so episodes, depending on how much side stuff I want to do. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, shut up, Vasco. Come on. <laughs> Damn it, I'm I'm leaving this room for now. Yeah. Okay. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more. I do a lot of XCOM content, XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. And I plan on adding some more games as my channel moves moves forward. I mean, I don't think I can survive with one game forever, you know, especially if XCOM 3 is not even announced yet. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.